Hello, you sexy biscuits, and welcome back into Greedful. Yesterday, I released my first impressions of the game, and since then, I've put about six hours into it, and I'm absolutely bloody loving it. But in today's video, we're going to be continuing our playthrough of Greedful. I didn't stay up until 3.23 a.m. playing Greedful. What? So later this week, I am going to be releasing a video called Why Greedful is So Important, because I honestly believe this is one of the most important and best games of this year. But I don't want to give too much away. So when I was playing this last night, I discovered a few things. So I'm going to backtrack a little bit because I missed some pretty awesome stuff. So I've come back up the hill to this statue because I ended up missing an entire area. So if I was to head in this direction, not only is there quite a lot of loot, but there's also some enemies. To my help. Okay, now... I have had quite a lot of practice at this game, so I should be quite good now. So we're just gonna wreck this guy. Ooh. I still bloody love the combat. It's so good. Nice. Knock him down. And then go for a couple of kicks to his face. And there you go. Now, if you loot these guys, you do have a chance of some pretty good loot dropping. Now, I don't think that these guys have any. I say that, and then you find this. Old blunt foil. So yeah, you can find some pretty good loot on these guys right at the start. Not only that, but they also have a chest hidden back here. So if I was to go and loot this, yeah, we get some gold coins and some potions. As well as games like Dragon Age, it's always good to take a walk off the beaten path, as they say. Because this game does hide quite a lot. From what I've experienced so far, this game isn't completely open world. Imagine games like Dragon Age or even Deus Ex. This game has kind of a flow to it. But there are diverging paths. So as I said, it's always good to take a quick walk off those beaten paths. So in today's video, we're going to be meeting the charlatan. Now this is possibly my favorite quest that I've played so far in Serene, so I really hope you guys enjoy it. Citizens, I present to you Panacea, the absolute cure of everything. Toothache, stomach ailment, and even an open wound. This potion heals all of that. And more still, this little file is the product of years of research and intensive labor. I hear you asking if this remedy can heal one from the Malachor. Alas, not yet. But your question is legitimate. I am so close to finding the cure, but the Malachor isn't the only ailment causing you to suffer. Not true? Then don't miss out on this chance and give yourself a healthy and energized life. Rejoice! A file only costs a few coins and well worth it to make your life shiny and new again. Does it really heal everything, your potion? Everything. Absolutely everything, except the Malachor, of course. That being said, it is known that those in top health resist the Malachor best of all. Then don't throw away this chance. Think of all the pains that this potion could help you avoid. You are right. It's a deal. I'm gonna take two. There's a man that knows a good deal when he sees one. Hurry now. There won't be enough for everyone. There he is. He's our man, no doubt. His speech is well polished. I even feel like buying some. And if we had a word with him? I wonder if he'll serve us the same routine. Now, this quest is absolutely fantastic because it shows how many diverging paths there are. Also, it does a great job of showing how you can find stuff before the quest even begins. So first things first, we are going to talk to the charlatan. Ah, you're finally tempted. In all honesty, I haven't made up my mind yet. I want to be certain that I'm not dealing with a charlatan. In this day and age, I can't blame you. What might I do to convince you? So here we can ask if there are any nasty side effects, because I'm going to be honest, I'm assuming there probably are. We could also ask for a demonstration or 
we could just entirely stop pursuing the subject, so we could just walk away from this quest and never do it again. But I'm going to ask this. Charlatan, are there any nasty side effects to your magical potion? There are none. You will feel nothing but an intense sense of well-being. Now, I'm going to say right now, I don't trust this guy further than I could throw him. So, I'm going to ask for a demonstration. Of course. I take a little sip every morning. But, as I am in perfect health, you won't be able to verify the improvement in my condition. But, if it helps you make up your mind, give me just a moment. There now. As you see, I am still in excellent condition. <laughs> Come on now. I saw you take that vial out of your pocket. Nothing proves that it's the same potion that you sell to your clients. As a man of science, I consider skepticism a remarkable quality. But in your case, it is not skepticism, but blindness. We need to steal one of these potions and force him to drink it. Brilliant idea, Kurt. Let's take a look at his cart. This is not going to go badly at all, Kurt. Thank you so much for your suggestion. So, heading behind the charlatan, we find a small area around here. Now, I will say, there are a group of enemies here, so it's probably a good idea to take these guys out first. Let's... Oh, let's try and block that guy. Let's, um, let Kurt take that one out. Right, <laughs> so now we can uh, quickly loot these guys. And we've got some stuff here, magic potion, and that's it. Also, I will say, if you ever find a gang of bandits, always look around because they generally have a chest hidden. So coming over here, we find some of his magical remedies. So we're going to take one of those, as well as this. These pages are covered in small, almost illegible handwriting. Experiment, results, patient observations, and incomprehensible symbols. But the complexity of some recipes leaves no room for doubt. The author was a true alchemist, and was certainly very knowledgeable. Now, of course, that leads us to believe that maybe this guy could be genuine. Now, if he has written all of these amazing ingredients and recipes, maybe he actually knows what he's talking about. We're also going to pick up this letter from the innkeeper to the servant. The weird alchemist of the Alliance who rented a room upstairs specifically asked us not to clean it during his stay. The old fool must not want us to accidentally break his vials or something. So leave him in his filth. The customer is always right. Now, of course, we could have just gone to the tavern and found this out right at the start. None of this stuff is hidden from you. So we could have just headed there immediately. But of course, we wouldn't have known that this was a thing. Now, there is another pretty major quest that takes place inside this tavern. So I'm not going to deal with that right now. I'm going to head immediately left and we will find ourselves in a hallway. Now, this hallway has some stairs. So heading upstairs, we find ourselves facing a room. Now this room is the charlatan's room. Now, we could of course explore in here, but I did find this, which is pretty interesting. Letter from an alchemist from Al Sad. Dear Arif, I am generally sorry to hear that you have not found the peace you were hoping for in Serene. Since your departure from the academy, the situation has been deplorable. Those you had accused are now behaving as if the rules do not apply to them, regularly performing questionable experiments, and there is nothing the rest of us can do apart from keeping a low profile. I sincerely hope that you will eventually find some place where you can be at peace. Your friend. Now, this letter is to the alchemist, the guy that we have just seen. You can even see the stuff strewn on his bed, which is what the innkeeper was talking about. Now, if we were to head out of here, you'd probably think, well, that's it. Let's head back down and let's give him that potion. But no, instead, we're going to head over here and we will find the innkeeper's storeroom key. Now, there's another couple of rooms in this place, which can be quite interesting. If you have lockpicking level one, you're able to open these up immediately. And I'm going to say there are quite a few chests in Serene that need lockpicking level one. But instead of doing that, we're going to head back downstairs and through this right-hand door and then use the key that we just got on this door. So now we have access to the storeroom. We can head over here 
and we'll find some pretty bloody good loot. On top of that, we will also find some metal dowels and we'll need these in an upcoming quest so make sure to take those. Now everything that you can craft in this game you can also buy elsewhere and what I do like is if you're trying to craft or buy something you even have a quest option so you can see what you may need in future quests and that's really really cool. So we're going to use the key that we just picked up and look at that we have found a back exit to the tavern. Now this place does have some small bits of loot but it is completely closed off and the only way to get out of here is to climb back over this wall. So we're going to do that and then head back to the charlatan. Now you're probably wondering why I did all that and that's because everything has a branching path and it will make a lot of sense later on. Hello charlatan, it's me again, the queen or the princess or the, the, the cousin of the prince? I have no bloody clue. Well, alchemist, the dandiest of things happened. I stumbled across one of your remedies. Would you possibly like to try it? This bullying is trying my patience. I'm beginning to suspect that you might be working for a rival. You refuse to taste it? You might have put something in it to cause me harm or further disgrace. No, look. The vial is still sealed. It comes straight from your stock. And you dare challenge me when you have just admitted to being a thief. Come now. You can see for yourself that I am gladly returning your vial, so that you might drink it in front of witnesses. This might help to dissipate my doubts, as well as those of these brave folk. Yes, no, I... You don't have the right! Damnation. He got away. He can't have gone far. Find him, before his head ends up on a spike. Think back to the note that we found. We need to take a look at the tavern. He won't leave the city without his belongings. Now, if we hadn't picked up that note, of course, Kurt wouldn't know where he was, and we'd basically have no clue of where this guy went. Also, he's not only an alchemist, but he's a bloody magician. How the hell did he get away so quickly? So what we're about to stumble upon has two outcomes. If you notice, outside of the tavern right now, there is a large group of people. And that is going to come into play later on. So heading back upstairs to the alchemist's bedroom, we of course find him right here. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to save, because there are two different outcomes to this quest. Hello, alchemist. Tis I, Del Sarde. What are you doing in my room? I'm not the only one that's found you. Have you seen the mob that's gathering in the street? I'm neither deaf nor blind. <sighs> By the spheres. Why didn't I leave the city while there was still time? The Alliance Ambassador is quite unsettled by your commerce. And he's the one who sent me. Sahin. Him again. Ruining my career wasn't enough for him. He's the very reason I had to leave the Alliance. And here I am, playing the part of the potion maker. Me who was once a respected member of the Academy of al -Sad. So this is quite interesting. Asking him these questions gives us quite a lot of information on his backstory and kind of leads us to believe that maybe this alchemist isn't as bad as we were once presuming. So tell me about your career as a professor. I was a master alchemist. I understand if you don't believe me after all that, but I have a number of documents to prove it. I would still be one if Sahin hadn't set up a chain of machinations to disgrace me. And what about Sahin's obsession? Where does that come from? I was unfortunate enough to oppose certain great minds of the Academy. To criticize their methodology. I saw them inflicting torture on sick prisoners. Making them drink the most vile poisons. To find a remedy to the Malachor, they won't hesitate to kill. I could not keep my silence. It is for an act of courage that you fell from grace, and earned Sahin's hatred. So yeah, the alchemist isn't exactly as bad as he was being made out to be. Now the real question is, what about this potion that you were selling? These potions are not harmful. That is to say that they don't contain any harmful ingredients. But you could just as easily produce real healing potions. So why don't you? You don't understand. I fled. But I haven't put a stop to my own research. This potion is an attempt to create in those who drink it a resistance to the Malachor. So you manipulate people to use as experimental fodder? That is completely unethical. I don't have a choice, but it does not harm them, I assure you. 
If this potion were inoffensive, then why wouldn't you drink it when I offered it to you? I ran tests on myself for such a long time that I ended up becoming intolerant to it. A small sip of this mixture provokes in me now a violent reaction. I mean, the mob would have been furious in any case, but a normal dose, I assure you, is without risk. Your methods don't seem so different than those of your colleagues. I don't torture people. And this potion only has side effects in high doses. Perhaps. But you are hurting innocents. I cannot let your commerce continue. So... What are you gonna do with me, my lady? <sighs> so, obviously this is a bit of a tough choice because he isn't actually harming anyone. He is trying to get to the end of what's causing this virus that is happening throughout the world. Now, do I believe that it's right? Not really, but it isn't harming anyone. And he has put himself through a lot of pain to be able to do this. So I don't know. This is kind of a weird middle ground. And in that case, I'm going to help him leave the city. If we can't find a way to sneak out of here discreetly, we will have to confront the populace. I haven't lost hope that I'll be able to help them hear reason. It would be better if I remain hidden while waiting. Now, if you noticed, on the right-hand side of the screen there, it just came up as a complete tick that we have found the service door. So that is what we are going to do first. Did you find a way to get me out of this hornet's nest? Yes. I need to get you out of here. I have unlocked the service entrance. You will be able to sneak out of there discreetly. Without being skinned alive by the mob? You need to remain prudent. I will escort you to your cart. I follow you. Let's sneak out the back. So we've head out the back door. Now you can't exit through this door. So the only option that we currently have is to jump over this wall. So we've jumped over this fence. Now there are some people waiting over there for us. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sneak through here and try and not get seen by those bandits and try and get this guy back to his cart without him getting killed. So there is a wall here we can climb over, but unfortunately, if we do climb over that, we lose the charlatan, unfortunately. So what we'll have to do is head in this direction and slowly but surely take out the couple of people who are guarding over here. So there's one person here. Let's sneak up behind this guy. Let's take him out. Now be careful because that guy heard that. So I'm gonna sneak up behind this one as well and take him out like so. <laughs> now, of course, you do get double the damage if you uh, do a sneak attack, so that is very useful. My cart, finally. I owe you my life. How can I ever thank you? Just do us the favor of never coming back and stop this deceitful commerce. Have no worries about that. I'm not going to forget this lesson anytime soon. Move along now. Get out of here while there's still time. Would you accept this as a token of my gratitude? Farewell, my lady. Now, he did just give us 80 coins, but I'm going to say right now, I don't like doing it this way because you have to kill a couple of people to get through. So instead of doing it that way, we're going to negotiate with the people that are outside. So we're going to walk up to these people and talk to them. Please listen, I beg you. If you want him to reimburse you, get in the back of the line like everyone else. Believe me. I understand why you are angry. Me? It's not money I want! That charlatan tried to poison us! I couldn't give a flying pile of dung for your pretty words. We're gonna hang him high! And you too, if you're an accomplice! How absurd! I'm the one who put an end to his operation. Well, in that case, help us catch him so he can be punished like he deserves. He's trapped! He'll have to come out someday, you'll see! Now, we do have a couple of options here. We could propose a settlement, we could order their dispersion, or we could use our intuition and speak of a horrible side effect. And so you plan on waiting here? I do not advise that. All of you drank one of those potions, am I right? You're right, we did. Tasted of death. I did nothing for me, Elsa. As for me, I only drank a few drops. And my tooth is aching more than ever. Alas. You need only drink a mere drop for it to provoke paralysis. Pa paralysis A terrible side effect. The symptoms appear sooner or later. No one is spared from them. What? Are we doomed then? Everyone is. 
Except, of course, those going to see a doctor to receive the antidote. What are we gonna do? The doctor costs a fortune. We're all gonna end up like statues. Listen to me, everyone. I know a good doctor that will help us. Come on, follow me. That charlatan will just have to wait to get what's coming to him. The alchemist is now far from danger, at least. Go and tell him the good news. And there you go, they've all gone. So we're going to go back upstairs and we're going to talk to the charlatan. Did you find a way to get me out of this hornet's nest? I persuaded the mob to disperse calmly and without a fight. The way is free. Very well. What power of persuasion? They didn't seem of a mind to hear reason from me. You were free. Climb into your carriage and leave Serene immediately. Let me deal with Dr. Sahin. I owe you my life, my lady. I will be eternally in your debt. I remind you to never step foot here again. I have no desire to return anyway. <sighs> Farewell. And there you have it. That is the quest of the alchemist. But there is one last thing to do, and that is, of course, to go and see Dr. Sahin. Well, hello, Ambassador. I've got some things to say to you. I want to quickly talk to you about the charlatan. I tracked down your man near the coin guard barracks. Finally! Did you capture him? Let's just say that I put an end to his activities. His reputation in Serene is forever tarnished. Matters turned out a little more complicated than anticipated. Now, of course, reputation plays a pretty big part in Greedfall, so we in theory want to try and stay in everyone's good books, but when someone's an absolute douche canoe, like this ambassador here, I'm okay to confront his lie. Why should I deliver him to you? You deliberately hid the truth about him from me. What? Might I remind you that you're in audience with the ambassador of the Bridge Alliance? And you to a legate of the Congregation of Merchants. That you treat like an imbecile. This man is indeed an alchemist of the bridge. And he told me much about your disagreement of opinion. And of course you sided with him. Certainly not. I have no part to play in your quarrels. I just chased him from our city. Now, if you are still intent on placing him in irons, you need to capture him on your own lands. How embarrassing. I should have shown more honesty in your regard. Please accept my excuses. And this modest gift for the voyage that awaits you. I need to be going. Goodbye, Excellency. Goodbye, Lady Decided. Now, by doing this quest, you will get quite a lot of XP, pushing me over level two. But yeah, in terms of talking to the Ambassador, this may have consequences later in the game, but I don't like liars. I'm playing this character as myself, and in this situation, I would have called him out on his bullshit. So there is the quest of the charlatan. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Tell me what your favourite quest so far is in Greedfall. But until next time, that's me, out. Bye, guys.